It's 7am, we're here at the gym in Letterkenny as part of the Ulster Bank Day in a Life series. Today we're with Donegal fullback Carl Lacey, who's already inside in the middle of a punishing workout. Let's go see how he's getting on. Most people are still asleep here in Letterkenny. You're already going to put this session in before a full day's work and another training session tonight. How tough is it to get out of bed in the mornings for this? Yeah, well, you have to get up and get it done, like. Other teams are doing it, like, you know, so not just us, every team in the county or in that country are doing it, like, you know, so. Got to be there to compete. Exactly. And for a typical session like this morning, what's involved? Uh, you do, I suppose you do just a quick warm up there. You get in stuck into the weights, then, you know, upper body, you do legs, you do squatting, and you do better work with dumbbells. To say it's whatever he shouts, that's <laughs> Adam there, or coach, you know, whatever he calls, you know, we, we just get stuck in it and get it done. Tell us a bit about the game last week and, and how it was to come through that. It was, it was tough going and just to hear that final whistle, especially after extra time and all, it was, the legs were gone, you know, but to see Kevin Cassie kick that over, you know, it was absolutely great feeling and see the supporters in the, in the stand after the game and all, you know, it was just incredible. Well, Carl, we're outside the Ulster Bank here in Letterkenny. Tell us a bit about your role with the bank. Well, I work in commercial um, with Ulster Bank, uh, looking after just business accounts, um, open up new accounts, try to get new accounts, new business. And so, what are the team like here? There's two commercial managers and three support there. They've been fantastic ever since I started here. Coming up to football and stuff as well, you know, they give you time off, you know, they're very good to get as well, you know, which I suppose you know, what's needed as well, like, you know, but as long as you get the work done, they're happy. Well, excellent, speaking of getting the work done, let's go across the road and do it done, then. Yeah. Let's do it. Carl joined us about six weeks ago. He was new to commercial, he was new to our business and new to the way we do business. He's very much a team player, wants to get involved, there's no task too big or too small, and he delivers. He absolutely delivers everything that he says that he will do. Very eager to go and meet new customers, and I think for the initial introduction for somebody, I suppose his, his profile goes before him, so he's a huge asset to us. When you're working with somebody like Carl, you really get a sense of what effort it takes. Like, you know, um, let's say back in October, November, December, when the snow, the ice, all that was in it. Like, Carl was getting up six, half six in the morning, heading to the gym for seven o'clock, getting showered, coming in here, doing the day's work, going home. Then the next day would be, we'd be training in the evening times. Like, you know, a huge dedication. Like, and it's only when you really work along somebody, you see the amount of effort that goes in. around the streets here in Letterkenny, there's a huge response to you as you walk up and down, people coming up and congratulating you on the success. What's it like having that weight of expectation of a county on your shoulders going into big matches like the Kildare game? It's great, like, you know, it could be a lot worse. You know, your head could be buried down, like, you know, you don't want to see anyone, but, you know, when you're winning, you know, it's you keep your head high, you know, and it's nice to see people come over to you and, you know, wishing you the best or congratulating you on your win, you know. And, what, what do you get out on a, on a personal level? It's hard to describe the feeling that goes through you, like, you know, and embrace all the players, you know, with, that you've been doing really hard work with, you know, since January, like, you know, you've been running hills and lifting weights and, you know, training very hard as a team together, you know, to go forward as a team and get results, you know, it's, it's, something, it's something special, like, you know, and it's said, just when the final whistle goes, you know, just the feeling goes through you, it's, it's unbelievable, like. So now that we're getting to the later stages of this season, there's more and more trips up to Croke Park. What is it like for a team to go down there and play on, on the biggest stage in the world? That's things, that's, that's things you dream of, you know, when we go back to our club, you know, when I was telling you, I started when I was eight or nine, you know, that's, that's what you'd be thinking of, you know, playing in Crow Park, and now it's coming, you know, that's what, that's what you want to be every weekend playing, like, you know. Right, Carl, time to fuel up before tonight's training session, you're bringing me out with your club, tell me a bit about your club setup. Uh, clubs in Donegal Town there, it's called Four Masters Club, I've been playing them with them now since I've been eight or nine years of age, right. and since I've been 20 years out now with them. There's a great set up in the club and some great people behind the scenes working there, like you know, and hopefully we can bring a bit of success back to it. Right Carl, ready to rock, break it to me gently, what are we facing into here this evening? It's going to be late enough today now, it's just a bit of... We warm up, bit of shooting, a couple of drills, Grand. nice and handy. Excellent stuff. Well, I feel like I'm looking the part. I've got the Ulster Bank top, yeah. Ulster Bank jersey underneath, but I couldn't resist the dub socks to represent <laughs> while we're here. We'll uh, get a slap with you later <laughs> and go in the game. Grand, good stuff. Right, let's go on. I don't know, he doesn't look in great shape now. He looks from here. I'm going to go easy on him. 
Definitely not, no. Yeah, tough time today, so it's payback time now today. Well, here we are in the run-up to, you know, serious championship football. What's it like having someone like Carl coming back into the squad at this stage? You know, a player of his calibre, you know, is always welcoming the, is always welcoming the team. It makes a big difference to us. It makes a big difference to the boys as well, anyway, like, you know, so, you know, we're, we're a far better team with him in the team than, obviously, you know, when he's here, it makes such a difference to us anyway, like, you know. And with the success for the county team at the moment, presumably that's given a lift to uh, to the rest of the boys in the club, so yeah, here. It does, yeah. If it gives a buzz to people in Donegal anyway, like, you know, so we just want to carry it on from that and give the people in town here something to smile about as well so our focus is on getting to a semi-final uh, come Saturday evening anyway like you know. Well it's getting to the point where they're getting into some serious tactical preparation for Glenfin this weekend so unfortunately we can't keep the cameras here any longer but I've had a phenomenal day with Carl Lacey so dedicated to the game and to see the amount of work he has to put in to stay where he's at at both club level and inter-county level is phenomenal. Yeah.